What's up? It's Friday and last night was amazing. I know yesterday I was like really stressed. I, I had that little session with Jerusha. I was going over the wine list. You know when like things just sort of come together, like everyone's really excited to make something happen and, and it just does and it's magical. Everybody works really hard to get a job done. That was exactly what happened last night. Jerusha was awesome. She totally knocked it out of the park. Donna was amazing. The three of us together just like had such an incredible night. It was really, really fun. So I just wanted to, to give you a little update on how that went. Today, I'm gonna start a new series. It's called $15 Friday. As you can probably guess, I'm gonna be doing some wines around 15 bucks on Fridays. Imagine that. I just think, you know, I totally get not wanting to spend more than 15 bucks on a wine. I, I understand I've been there. When I started drinking wine, or even like before I even started learning about wine, that's basically what I was buying. So I feel like, you know, as much as I am someone who spends like more like $30 to $40 on a bottle of wine, because I that's where I believe the quality is, there are some pretty good bottles around 15 bucks, and I think it's important that you know what they are, and um, I figure, why not? So these wines are all gonna be like, in or around the $15 bracket. So like this one today on wine.com is $16.99, but you can also get it elsewhere for like 13 bucks. So it should be pretty easy to find, but I think you guys are really gonna like this. This happens to be one of my favorite producers. So we are gonna do a little Felino Vina Cobos, uh, Cabernet Sauvignon from, from Mendoza in Argentina. Um, and this is a wine made by Paul Hobbs. So you may know Paul Hobbs here in the Valley. He's pretty famous. He, uh, he makes a ton of like 100 point wines, but he also has some projects in Argentina. And then I also think he has some projects in France and Cor. So we're gonna do this. And um, I, I have tried this wine before. I know that it's delicious. And we're gonna try it again today. So I hope everyone has had an amazing week. This like first week here, the weather, I guess it's kind of the first week of fall. I don't know, it feels like fall. It's been amazing. Obviously I went to Tahoe and had a great time there. Finally got to break out some sweaters, which is always exciting. For those of you who are wondering if you've been paying attention, I am going on a trip. I haven't told you where that is. This is not a hint. So if you're like, hey, she's doing Argentinian wine. Maybe she's going to Argentina. I'm not going to Argentina. But I will tell you where I'm going very, very soon. Anyway, so let's pop this up. The idea here is not to make this too complicated. I don't want to talk about all the crazy nuances of this wine because that's not what this is about. $15 Friday is about keeping things simple, keeping it cheap, keeping it real, and getting some wine in your glass. That's that's what this is all about. We're not going to go crazy with tasting notes because it's just not important. But just to give you a, a general overview of what you're looking at, like I said, this is uh, from Paul Hobbs. So great, great reputation. This is a value wine in their portfolio that they're making from really great sites. And already, it smells like Cabernet. It's a little bit roasted, it's a little bit smoky, but it's like big, bright, cherry, red compote raspberries. And it smells delicious. That's awesome. For 15, for 15 bucks, it's like $16.99. It's full bodied, tannins are really rounded out, really nice, great dark fruit, a little bit on the compote side, a little bit of like a dustiness to it as well. There's a richness, but it's not overly rich, it's not overly ripe, it doesn't taste like a cheap wine. It's really good. I actually, if somebody blinded on me, if somebody blinded me on this, I'd probably say it's like maybe like a $50 bottle of wine. And it does like have a little bit of a, a Napa-esque quality to it. It definitely has like the denseness of something coming from Napa Valley. Guys, this is gonna be awesome to just like sit down, watch whatever show you're back into. I know This Is Us came back on this week. Still haven't watched, so don't, no spoiler alerts. It's like such an easy wine to just sit down and enjoy for 15 bucks. Like this is, this is it right here. Also, if you wanna feel fancy like I do, uh, sometimes, you know, even just putting it in like a nicer glass even if it's a less expensive bottle, can really make all the difference. And I'm really coming to find as of late that a Zalto glass 
really can change a wine dramatically. So, you know, maybe you're like, you know, I don't really want to spend more than 20 bucks on, on a wine every time. That's totally fine. My recommendation to you is just like, get a really good glass. I only have like one of these. They're about 50 bucks, 60 bucks a, a glass. So it's definitely not inexpensive, but it's an investment. It's kind of like getting a really great pair of shoes to dress up like a cheap outfit. Like it just can kind of make or break the wine. And I really feel like this glass can really, really alter the taste of a wine. And it makes it feel just a little bit nicer and fancier. And you know, it comes down to it. Whatever makes you happy, whatever makes you feel relaxed and good inside, that's what you should be drinking. That's what you should be feeling. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw my full weight of support behind this wine. I think it's great. And get yourself some Zaltos. I like the Bordeaux glass. The white wine glass is great. The Burgundy glass is a little bit big, and I think it's not my favorite. So I definitely recommend the Bordeaux glass if you just want like, if you're just like I just want one glass throw everything into, you can put it in here. They are dishwasher safe. I don't necessarily trust the other things that I put in the dishwasher, so I typically just hand wash it. And the way that I do it is I just put a little hot water, a little dish soap, I like physically stick my hand inside, do a little like swirling action, and then just use a paper towel to dry it off really, really gently. They're very thin, the stems will break but they're also very durable. So if you're super clumsy, I get it. Maybe don't get the Zalto. I'm a pretty clumsy person, like I have broken these before, but I've had this now for like two years and still intact. <laughs> uh, okay, so that is your $15 Friday. I'm gonna leave you with that. I'll catch you guys later.